Bam! What's happening, everybody? Coach Midway, the Dragon Slayer, coming to you with another episode of Epic Bourbon Tastings. And this is going to be a very special one. It's actually like going back to the basics, the foundation. How do you taste bourbon? What are you looking for? You know, sometimes when you read the, the diatribe of somebody talking about uh, tanned leather and smoked whistle fruit and uh, notes of, of sea spice and serpentine pine, what the hell are they talking about? I don't know what they're talking about. So we're going to break down some very basic tasting notes going back to really the foundation, making you look more educated and uh, hopefully in the process having a lot of fun. I got a very special guest all the way from Romania. Uh, not from Bucharest, but someplace close. Professional violinist, uh, a man that when I met him the first time, we just instantly clicked. And uh, he's going to be on the on Epic Bourbon Tasting for the first time. But please welcome Laurentiu to this side of the camera. Look at this guy. Always a smile All on right. his face. How you doing, Coach? It's uh, good seeing you. Good, brother. Good. Okay. All right. So your background is for alcohol is what? Tell me. Uh, Romanian moonshine, I'll say. Oh, most okay. of it. Okay. And also some uh, some good variety of whiskey. Okay. So uh, that's that's the palate that I would uh, that I would go with for for uh, any great alcohol tasting. And so bourbon, this is kind of like you're, I'm 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 introducing you to the finer points of bourbon. That's right. Sort of, yes. Yes. Okay. I love it. Another. I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm excited Another about comfort. this. First time I I, I saw your link, I was like, I got I got I gotta get in touch with coach and say, and then uh, get, give me some of your knowledge on this. Yes. Awesome. That's good. Awesome. Okay. So we're gonna start out with uh, Jefferson's Reserve Twin Oak, okay. custom barrel, non chill filter. That's what it looks like. And again, just uh, let's let's explore these notes, and you'll notice that a lot of the bourbons are going to be similar. Oh, look at that! Oh, wow. that's that was, a good cool technique. Wow, that was a <laughs> that was a foul and a half if I had poured it, man. Make sure it's yours. Oh, look at that! Okay, it is twenty oh. degrees outside, and it's seventy-two in here. So maybe there's something going on. I did start the muscle car. Maybe there's some type of magic in the air making Ooh. it. I don't know. It's crazy. Look, look at all my muscle cars. It's like oh, let me feel was that special good? tonight. Was oh, that yeah. Good? oh yeah. I told him I said go out there and start the Maserati. He's like, oh, oh. I wish you could drive it, but the Rosa too icy. One okay. day, one day over there. So, all right, it starts good. I like the the sweetness. It's good to smell out of both of your nostrils. Okay. If you go, mm -hmm. you'll kind of get um, uh, the overall sense. But this is not okay. uh, this is not a tasting on the on the nose, but more that a general tasting notes that are common with most of the bourbons. Okay. So let's go ahead and taste it. First of all, that finish. Oh, <laughs> that finish goodness. is like right on. Oh, and it just oh, it's so oh, good. It's good. Okay, so oh. bourbon made up of a mash bill that consists of uh, the greatest percentage is of corn. Mm -hmm. okay? And of course, corn has natural sweetness to it. That's why bourbon, a lot of bourbon, is, when you taste it, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, but but look, let's look at the, the different uh, compounds that make up the charred oak barrels. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is like a twin oak, which means. Um, maybe they put it in two different barrels. Maybe they put it in one and it's okay. a very heavy oak. But to be a bourbon, it has to be finished in charred oak barrels. So it takes out that the, the compounds from the oak. You've got eugenol, mm -hmm. which is like a clove, nutmeg, cinnamon. Uh, you've got vanillin, mm -hmm. which you get that vanilla. Okay. And you also have um, that really special caramel flavor. Okay. That comes from the wood. So there's the unique characteristics of the wood that then comes into the flavors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The longer it's aged, sometimes you'll taste more of the cocoa or the chocolate. Uh, but clove, honey, nutmeg, spice, caramel, okay. that's going to be prevalent through most of the bourbons. You can sound like you know what you're talking about by just sitting down and saying, well, you already know it. <laughs> I, we tasted earlier before this. We did a little pre-gaming, and oh. this guy was like nailing it. Some good stuff for sure. But a good palate, and oh, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, when people come in here and they don't really appreciate it, you can tell right off the bat that they're just, it's like throwing pearls before swine, as the Bible says. It's going to be a, <laughs> it's going to be a bad tasting. But with you, I could tell that you were already feeling it. Oh, yeah. But if you don't know what to look for, it's really interesting, because we were talking earlier about the subliminal mm -hmm. mind. That's if right. I say, oh, I taste coconut in here, 
I guarantee you that your next sip, you're going to taste coconut, even if it's not there. Exactly. Big time. Yep. So caramel, the clove mm -hmm. and spice, it's going to be prevalent through all of the, of the bourbons. So that you can try. find something else. Yes. Let's try it. Cherry. That's an easy one. A lot of these have like cherry tobacco. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of my grandfather's pipe. You pick up anything else? Um, definitely the, the smokiness of the, the, yeah. the char oak for sure. That's you for never sure, go yeah. wrong. If you, if you say, you know, <clears throat> it's not smoky and peaty like a scotch, mm -hmm. but it is definitely something that you're going to get out of those charred oak yeah. panels. No. It's really cool. I was at Woodford Reserve this summer and watching them in the, in the, in the um, warehouse where they lay everything down. Oh, man. And it's just amazing to see uh, row upon row upon row. I mean, the process of making this this wonderful drink is just is just amazing. You got you got to be there and see how it is and understand mm -hmm. you know what comes in and and, and just the, the flavor behind uh, the, the, the every sip that you take. It's it's just yeah. amazing. It's such it's become such a complicated process. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure back in the old days, like in Moonshine. I mean, I grew up in Tennessee. And, you know, my buddies would get moonshine out there oh, man. from the still. And they would be like, don't drink it too quick, man. It's going to stop your heart. First time I had moonshine, I was like 16 years old. I was, okay, hold on. I was 16. Do not drink before you tw turn 21. Let's get that straight, okay? I can't Everyone is 18, so. Oh, okay, so I was 18. Yeah. Okay, so I was, I was 18 in Tennessee, and uh, my buddy was like, uh, have some of this. He was like, but don't drink it really quick because it'll stop your heart. And I was like, what? And he was like, yes, <laughs> sip it. Do not gulp it. And so I sipped it carefully. Oh, man, that stuff was... It <laughs> reminds me of my grandpa. He would sip three. You know, we have those wooden spoons and you would have the very first drops of the moonshine. And he would be the one to taste it, feed it, see if it's smoky or it's too strong. Mm. In about five to ten minutes, he would be out. So... Good luck. With you mean five to ten minutes? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's like <laughs> alcohol, proof alcohol, just so, so strong. Oh, it was that's like, awesome. 30 minutes. I was like, what, what just happened now? I was like, ah, nothing, Grandpa. Just, just oh, let's God. go for the next batch. That's funny. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, so I've never had this. A little shout out to uh, Colby Van Camp who called me up. I gave him my credit card and he, he got this out to me. Uh, this is three chord. It mm. is the uh, Kansas Special Reserve. Triple cask finished. Oh, wow. Blended bourbon whiskey finished in wine barrels. Oh, I'm Three curious about chord. this. Three chord for us Three musicians. Chord. Isn't that cool? That's what it looks like. I've never had this, but when I smelled it. Oh, nice palette. Nice, a nice, a nice a mixture of, uh, of flavors. I can definitely smell really? the, the wine. I was, I was curious about that. All right, let's do, this is going to be a little bit more complex. Did I put water in here for you? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Do this. So, where, so tell us the city. The city. In Romania. The city of Romania is called Timisoara. It's the city that uh, where the re revolution started in 89. That was the time when, by, by December 89, and around this time, uh, we killed our president and became a, democra a democratic country. Oh, okay. So it's... Uh, I'll give you a little cheers for Democrats. Well, cheers there for you that. Go, man. Look at that. Democratic country. I told yeah. you I was over there, uh, you know, before the Cold War ended. Mm -hmm. And, man, it was some nasty stuff, dude. Like, people think, I mean, I'm, I'm, I haven't been to Russia in been a decade or more. But when I was there in Moscow mm -hmm. in the 70s. It was well, well, my parents told me that they would not be allowed to, to carry a foreign currency. You know, they would have lines for like weeks to get their uh, their uh, uh, gas, mm. and it always would be alphabetical order or uh, uh, even or odd numbers. Mm. You know, first you go to capital and then the suburbs and all that. So yeah. it's quite well. I remember we ha were having this 2432 stamps where I would go downstairs to the, to the, to the store and get two loaves of bread mm. with that little cardboard and a stamp of it. So that's pretty much all but I would there be it. bread there? Would oh, yeah. They? See, oh, in Moscow, be... there wasn't. Oh, wow. That's... Because, you know, the baker's going to get 10 rubles a week if he bakes 10 loaves of bread or 100 loaves of bread. Mm -hmm. So we would go to the store. We, we had a special American embassy store that we would go to, and even that. Man, oh, there was wow. sometimes nothing on the shelves. Wow. And we would come back to our apartment, and there would be people in the apartments 
screw driving our phones because they were bugging our phones because you know we were Americans living there. And, 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 and you know, they would be like, oh, oh, uh, you know, uh, whatever they would say. I was trying to think of some Russian. <laughs> uh, just, uh, my, my, dad, my dad was like, so sweet, it's in. Oh, no, 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 how to show And they were pretending like they were fixing our radio and our phones, but mm -hmm. they were bugging our whole apartment, man. They were yeah, watching us like crazy. That's wild. That's yeah. wild. That's got a nice smell to it. I hate to say it, clove, cinnamon on the smell. Very, mm -hmm. very spice laden on the smell. Ooh, very smooth at the beginning. It and then starts, it, you're right. It starts compared to the then one it, we have. Then yeah. it goes. Yeah, yeah. Then it goes, and and it's got quite a quite a little bit of a. Um, in Kentucky, they call it a Kentucky hug, when there's that warmth. Oh, so you don't hug? It's not like a real hug. Right? <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't resist that beard, man. I knew at some point I was gonna have to fondle your beard. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they call that heat a Kentucky hug, mm -hmm. and it's uh, you definitely feel that warmth as you go. Oh, yeah. It's not uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. We no. were trying some earlier. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong with my palate. I'm gonna tell you another another um, another truth about tasting is that you really want to eat bland foods before. Yeah. Thinking yeah. about bland foods, I went in when I was putting my son to bed, and I had five of those cookies that you brought, man. I kept eating them. He brought me some homemade cookies, and I was like, oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. So I yeah. kept eating them. Anyway, you want to have as, as pure of a palate as possible. I know with wine tastings, you know, sometimes they have those really bland crackers in between. I don't like tasting stuff in between. But something was wrong with my palate. I was t everything tasted wrong mm -hmm. when we mm -hmm. were pre-gaming. It's well, back to normal now. But you want to eat bland food if you're going to really dig into some tastings. Oh, yeah. Big time. Not, what are you tasting here? Because there's a lot of stuff going on. So, oh, sorry. So this is <clears> not... <throat> we were tasting stuff earlier that was like... I felt like it was like burning. Right, right, right. Yeah. At the yeah. end, and it was an uncomfortable burn. This is a beautiful burn. It's like snuggling oh, up. Oh, yeah. So the first taste that I get is this full richness, smoothness of, of, of the, the alcohol. And it kind of opens up. You know, and gives you all the the flavors that we're talking about that you might find in the, in, the, in a uh, bourbon whiskey, mm -hmm. but it does le leave a a, a a trace of uh, I'll say for me a combination of cinnamon and and clove. Okay, you clove. Know? Yeah. At first, when I first smelled it in the mm -hmm. bottle, I thought licorice. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. Do, now that I said licorice, now I taste licorice, but I wasn't really tasting licorice until I said it. It's very. It's 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 more of a. Uh, um, all spice, I would say, oh, okay, okay. and a sweetness, very not not that uh, a big punch of all spice, you know, a uh, uh, smell that you mm. have, very very delicate. I really like that. Let's try something. Banana. Mm. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> that's unbelievable. You just made me like, yeah, you're so the right. It was there. Even though there's no banana in it, you know, like, you say it. Yeah, it's like stop, stop thinking about monkeys. I know, right? <laughs> how about how about um, how about blackberry? Blackberry. Actually, I, I got some raspberries. I, you know, when I lived in Budapest, mm -hmm. Buda, flat Pesh hill. Right. We lived on the Pesh side. This beautiful architect's house, statues all over the place that he had. Uh, carved from stone in the gardens mm -hmm. terraced and in the back they had these blackberry and raspberry bushes oh, and you'd go eat all day and then on Sundays we'd walk down to the ice cream and they had this pistachio ice cream and it's still to this day I was 15 when I was there still to this day pistachio is my favorite ice cream from the memories from the memories you got hungry oh, but, but you know what when I said the blackberry though my first taste was of some type of fruit on that next sip right even though I wasn't even thinking about that something to do at home just for fun is just start throwing ideas out to see if exactly. they stimulate more tasting. Here's a good, here's a good way to uh, enjoy winter. Um, grab a, a great amount of, of berries, um, blackberries, raspberries. Put like uh, one to, I don't know the, the exact ratio, but I would say one kilo to two kilo of, of one kilo of sugar, two kilo of, of berries. Okay. And then you add some, some vodka, 100% proof. Oh, and you let it marinate. What in the world? And oh man! You will have the best liquor made homemade ever. 
It is delicious. Dude, I was like, I said, hey, we're getting some cooking recipes from Romania. I'm all about it, man. I love cooking. Go over to, okay, we're back out of the liquor. That, dude, that's cool, man. So, what did you say? Equal parts or two to one? Two to one, I would say. Yeah. Two to one. Two to one. And definitely, two to one would be the uh, the, the sugar ratio oh. to, yeah. Wow. So that way you you get the 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 the, the juice the, the uh -huh. from that comes out of the sugar and then the the, the uh, berries and then you have the alcohol and let oh, it marinate it, and that's cool dude. and you'll have the best liqueur liqueur and you, so and you don't drink it with anything it's just the liqueur it's just the it's liqueur like, yeah. like drinking schnapps or yeah, whatever exactly uh, but the balance between the sugar the flavor of the fruits and the alcohol is just amazing you will never find that I love it. that's really cool dude. Okay, yeah, I got uh, some water oh, there. Yeah. So the last one we're gonna taste. Well, I might have a little surprise. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw a little. Uh, I'm gonna throw one that's crazy at the end. Oh, okay. Let's see All if right. you if you have learned something. All right. I, I love put that. A, put the on this, man. That's, Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't be stingy. <laughs> okay. Don't be bashful. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So this is a Russell 13 barrel proof. Now, okay. when, the first time we drank. A couple of days ago, actually, mm -hmm. and you said I want something that's more smooth. Yes. But as you can see, I'm not giving you like I do not drink smooth stuff. As the channel, he asked me before we said, "Hey, do you do much editing?" I said, "Epic bourbon tasting is uncut, unfiltered, raw, unedited, just like I like my bourbon and my woman." Anyway, um, this is barrel proof, which means that they did not cut it with a bunch of water. Oh wow! Okay, okay. most of the bourbon they take it and they they mix it down and they they filter it and they do all this stuff and then they. Uh, dilute it obviously with water so it's not straight alcohol but when you look at a barrel proof mm -hmm. um, then it's going to be the big stuff right it's hardly even been cut so okay. this one here is 13 Russell's Reserve and this is from uh, Steve over at the local uh, grocery store IGA actually said you got to get this and I was like dude hmm I don't want Russell's 13 he was like you got to do it then Brandon another one of my hosts said you got to get this man so finally I broke down I got it and then must be must be good huh it's blown up all over the internet okay to, you got to get the Russell 13 so and we actually in a good tasting form you always want to go from mild mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to medium to to strong bald exactly great personality there you go give it Russell Let's go, Russell. Oh, it's punchy. Mm. Oh, no, we, it's, we, it's, we it's, gotta rate them at the end, by the way. You gotta tell me which one is your favorite. <clears throat> okay. And don't mind me. Like, if you want the stuff that's milder, you freaking go mm. for it. That's okay. interesting. That's very interesting after this. Yeah. Because this is. Um, proof wise, my eyes are completely going. Looks like 58.2. Dude, this is 116 proof. This three quart is 116 proof, right? Okay. This is going to be around 100. Let's see if I'm close to it. 90.2. Yeah. And then this one, yeah, your eyes are better than mine. What does this one say? This one is, uh, where's that? Right 50. 114.8. So, so what is this one again? One. 16? 116. So, so this, this one, is the strongest? Yeah. yeah. But I gotta say, this one gives you gives you the full the full kick, full flavor at the mm. beginning. And it kind of dies out on you, leaving you with it like it, it, it's it's just makes you wonder, mm. should I take another step? Should I continue? It's it's a mm. very interesting, you know, ending, I'll say. I, I agree. This one was was uh was mm -hmm. More complex. Yeah. For sure. There was a lot of stuff going on. And it mm -hmm. said on here that it was uh, finished three times. That's why it's called yeah, three in wine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In wine barrels. This definitely gives you a nice taste for a couple of good good seconds to yeah, a minute where sure. you can enjoy yeah. the, the palette of, of flavors that's in it. But mm -hmm. this one, it's good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's definitely, give it, it gives you, it delivers. It does. You know. Caramel, honey. Mm -hmm. I definitely taste I get, the honey, yeah, like the a honey, honey cake in there. Yeah. Like my grandmother used to make a honey cake. Mm -hmm. So it had like a little vanilla, vanilla in it. And you know, again, we mm -hmm. see the nutmeg, the clove. That's great things for you to put out right. there to tasting. Look like you're uh, in the know. Right, right. What Anything else that, that strikes you? There's a, it is one certain flavor, but I cannot really, mm, it's a, 
I don't want to say lemon. It's not lemon, mm -hmm. but it's kind of close to that. Maybe orange. Maybe maybe. Apricot. The, I. Mm, no. Close to. Oh. No, I think it's the the um, what is the 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 um, uh, dark, the bitter taste. It's not an orange, but it's from the same family of fruits. Tangerine. No, no that's sweet. Um. Like a grapefruit? Yes. Oh, yes. hell! That's what I get. That's what I get on the like at the very, very uh, end of it before it's gonna it's gonna go away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Unbelievable. The student is becoming the master. <laughs> okay. On that oh, note, yeah. man, I'm gonna throw you something that you've never had. Oh, yes, okay? please. I want. We're going to the Uniqueness. top shelf. We're going Ooh. to the top shelf. Okay. Very old Saint Nick. All right. Okay. We tried that late. We tried that earlier, but you know what, dude? Watch this. We're going up here to the to the unicorn. Oh, we I can't, love unicorns. We can't, we, can't try, we can't try that very old Saint Nick rye because mm -hmm. we've been on bourbons. Right. Okay. This time Ooh. we're going to do the very old Saint Nick. Okay. Thirteen year. Wow. Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Uh, the estate. This is at what proof? One hundred seven point five. Ooh, sounds like a radio station. <laughs> and we're here at Epic Bourbon Tastings at 107.5. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, 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 man. That's a good sign. That's a good sign right there. Oh, God. <laughs> you got okay. it, Coach. There you go. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, dude. Beautiful stuff. And I am not going to say anything about the tasting notes. I'm just going to let you. Please. Let's color. see. Oh, nice. I love, I love how it all. Oh. That's that. beautiful. The richness uh, of the of the of the liquid itself, how it, it just mm -hmm. lingers on a on a glass. It's amazing. What? Oh, sorry oh, about oh, that. Oh. oh gosh, man! I'm just, there it is. And uh, very old Saint Nick that used to be. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's uh, we should celebrate that every December sixth, right? Well, yeah. All right. There you go. All right. All right. We'll put that one right there. Of these oh, three, nice. of these three, which one did you like the best? I would go with this one. Yeah, yeah. Just because of the mm -hmm. polish, because of the everything that gives you a TN, you know. It's uh, and, and I'm not saying yeah, absolutely. Uh, three chord. Uh, like that? It, it delivers, yes. Dude, yeah. you're getting yeah. the palette, yeah. man, of complexity. I love absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay, let's see this one. Oh man! It's even better than all the other ones where it is. Oh my goodness! Oh, so here, here it is. The first, first time I like, like the first taste, first, okay. first uh, um, um, flavor that I got. It comes back to when I was a kid back in back in Romania, and my grandma used to make this uh, spread out of out of grapes, right? Okay. And she would it, was, it would, would be a big pot of of cast iron pot. And she would take grapes that would just be close to to become uh, uh, dry or closer to to be uh, raisins. Okay. So she would boil them with sugar, and would add, uh, add some some walnuts. So uh, it would. It would the... I'm tasting all of it. Keep going. Keep going. It, 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 sometimes it would, it would would forget about it and. It would burn a little bit on the bottom of that that, that okay. uh, skillet, yeah, skillet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and at the end of it, you will get this very, very um, not crunchy, but uh, uh, caramelized flavor that would just mix the the grapes with walnuts. Wow. Keep talking, man. I'm and, soaking and all that, this up here, <laughs> and with with a smokiness from the bottom mm -hmm. of the barrel. This is literally this is what I get right now, and the sweetness from from the the, the tangy uh, um, or tangy uh, uh, sweetness uh, of of the grapes, you know. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> and this my is what God, I get when you bring a, a beginner to this. Is amazing, man! Wow, I, everything you were talking about, man, I was sitting oh, yeah. there picturing myself. Seriously, this is it. This is this is this is wonderful. Oof. Smoky. Walnut, grapes, grapes, raisins, yeah, absolutely, chocolatey that that dark chocolate that comes in a mm. in a in a good balance, you know. Mm. It's just, mm. oh my goodness! Like sometimes if you're in uh, 
in Europe, and mm -hmm. you have the the dark chocolate with some type of currant, right, right, or something like that. Yes, you know they'll it's, they'll make those chocolate bars. Yes, yeah, but not the kind you buy in the store. You go no. over there to uh, just to like a, special order, you know, uh, behind the counter type of thing. Yes, yeah, yeah it's just. This is so good. And, so the, and we talked about earlier how the longer that it sits, the more the compounds are going to turn into that mm -hmm. cocoa chocolate. I would have never picked. I would have never picked most of those. I might have said like raisin or something. Right. But all of that and even the even that little chocolatey. Oh yeah. And at, at the end is. Mm. It definitely it starts sweet and it just kind of opens up like an orchid. <sighs> You know, to its own like gradually palates of, <laughs> of palate flavor. You know, it's, it's just amazing. Oh man, it really does. It comes in, it mm -hmm. comes in like this, and it does it. It's mm -hmm. almost like it says, "Here it is," and it just lays all the flavors out. Exactly. It starts here complex. It's not like it starts out soft. Mm -hmm. it starts out nice, full bodied, but then it just like opens it, mm -hmm. opens its mm -hmm. petals, and says, "Here, here it we is. go." Wow. That's it. This is really good. Mm. It better be if it's sitting on my top shelf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheers, my friend. Cheers to that. Thank you. Thank you. Outstanding. For Outstanding. Great description. Cheers, bam. Can I get a bam from you? Bam. <laughs> from Coach Wade. Yes. Love it. Dude, that was awesome, man. Great job.